Hello again and welcome to another YouTube tutorial doing string art designs. This is another of the designs that's, that comes in a kit. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Uh, first of all, uh, let's thread the needle. Um, I've got about one meter, 50 centimeters of thread. That should be more than enough to do this one side. So we're going to do this pattern in two videos. We're going to start off going from left to right down there. And what I have done is numbered your holes here. Okay. And this hole in the middle, let me hold it up for you. That hole there, the center is number one. And it's number one for all of the segments. Okay, so you have one number two, number one rather. So I'm going to put that there. And you always start at hole number one. And then I've gone down all the way to 16 at the bottom. So there, there's 16. And then I go across <clears throat> the kind of curve at the bottom. So 15, and if you look here, I've got one down to 16, and that's my 16 there. So I go from there down to there, okay? That's what you're numbering. If you want to put numbers in, very lightly in pencil so they rub out and aren't seen. That's how I suggest you do it, okay? So always going down, you've got 1 to 16, 1 to 16, there. But when you go round, that's what you've got, 1 to 15. Okay, so let's thread our needle. If you can thread without a needle threader, that's great. If you need some support, here's my needle threader. I'm in the UK and I buy these needle threaders from Hobbycraft. And they, they have a website, hobbycraft.co.uk, if you want to order them from abroad. So I use the narrower side. I've got two sides, narrow and wider with a bigger hole. I use the narrower side and pretend that my needle thread is actually thread. And I put it through the hole. And then I'm going to insert my thread through that hole there in the needle threader. Pull it a bit and then, so let me just untangle this, and then pull your needle threader through there. Okay, so that's my needle threaded. And as with all of the designs I do, I use the thread singly and I'll show you what I mean here I've got if you can see a short end right there okay it stops part way down and I have a longer end I'm going to put a knot in my longer end there and get started so we're going to be replicating this design using the numbers going down here. If you watched other videos, you see that it's we um, go one to one, two to two. So that's what I'm going to do. So in my hole at the center, that's my number one. That's always my number one. Come out on the right side. And my number one is there. So I'm going to go in there. Turn over onto the reverse. And I go into that hole. That hole is number two. There, three, four, and so on. Into hole number two.
and then I'm going to find my hole number two, which is here. Just move it, move the thread, hold it up a bit. There's my hole number two. And I'm going to go behind my thread. So I push my thread to the right and I go into the hole behind it. Uh, turn over and go down into hole number three. And I want to come out behind the thread. So you might have to just move it slightly. That's hole number three. So from three to three. Then into hole number four there along the bottom. Let's just shift my camera because the lighting's doing some strange things. Come out at four. Go into four. There's hole number four behind the threads, turn over, down into five, match it with hole number five, Six down to seven behind your thread. Diagonal down to seven. Seven to eight at the bottom. Up into eight. Eight to nine. down to nine. There we have a knot. If you get a knot, it shouldn't be hard to undo it. I've just tugged it a bit like that. If, you, if your knot is really persistent, then um, you may have to uh, Snip it out and start again, but that's no problem. Uh, 11 to 11, cross over into 12, nearly there. 12 to 12. to 13, 13 to 13, cross over to 14, we're almost there, 14 to 14, and the last one is 15 to 15, we're not going to go into 16, so this is your last one, 15 there, I'll just show you a close up if you can see, I'm not sure you can see that. That's hole number 15. I'm going to the corresponding hole, number 15. And that is where you stop for your left to right. There. Okay. Turn over. And then to finish off, I'm going to slide my thread under the previous stitch. Make a loop. Go into that loop. First one ties it, I'm going to repeat that and then go through the loop. Second one knots it so it's secure. And I've finished my left to right and snip both ends. And that's what it looks like. 
I'm going to come back and do the right to left. Thank you for watching and I'll see you shortly. Bye.